I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG. And in the last video, I built this little signal generator kit uh, that comes from China. It was less than $10 and seems to work just fine, as shown in the last video. Well, in this video, I'm going to use this now as a signal source to test the frequency response of my BITX40, which is this right here. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because with this microphone plugged in, this is the little mic unit that came with the thing. With it plugged in, I have received reports that my signal is muffled. In other words, low frequencies but not enough high frequencies. So that could be either the microphone or the radio audio circuits, or both. So what I did was I connected this dummy load, that's a 10 watt 50 ohm resistor, connected that here to the output of the radio, and then used this instead of the microphone as a source on the input side, okay, and then I just tuned the frequency up and down. Now, I have here a little software-defined receiver, the uh, Fifi SDR that I've used in many, many of my videos. I have this hooked up and the result displays on the computer screen behind me. So I'm going to show several things. First, show what the spectrum generally looks like using the BITX40 into a dummy load with the microphone that came with it. And then for comparison, I'm going to show my Yesu FTDX 3000 into a dummy load. Um, the same kind of testing and you're going to find a very substantial difference in audio quality. Okay, and then uh, we're going to take the uh, this thing, the signal generator, and sweep it from high frequencies down to low frequencies and take a look at a plot that we make on the uh, spectrum analyzer part of the software for the software defined radio. And what we're going to find out is that uh, this uh, BITX 40 does roll off a little bit above 2 kilohertz, but below that it's relatively linear in its response. Shall we get started? This is KE0OG testing into a dummy load. KE0OG testing into a dummy load. This is KE0OG testing into a dummy load. KE0OG testing into a dummy load. So, what did we learn from this experiment? Uh, first, we learned that there's a vast difference in the audio quality from my uh, relatively high-end uh, Yesu FTDX 3000 and the little uh, bargain basement uh, BITX 40. Uh, both types of audible are readable. I do not think that somebody on the other end of the BITX 40 would know that it was me they would on the others. Now, I didn't have everything tuned exactly to frequency, but there was a substantial difference. Second, as we looked at the response curve or shape of the response to this audio right here, we find that the audio cuts off rather sharply after 2 kilohertz. Uh, and uh, by the time you get to 3 kilohertz, it's almost 15 degrees down, which is, is really substantial. So we'll say it has about a 2 kilohertz uh, passband for the audio. Now you might ask the question, does this thing give the same linear output across all of that? And we showed in the previous video that yes, it does. It doesn't start to bog down until you get up into the uh, hundreds of kilohertz uh, input. And we're just looking 0 to 3 kilohertz uh, on this one. So having done that, we now know a little bit more about the BITX40. I think the microphone could be improved 
and also the audio response brightened up a little bit in here and I'll look to see if somebody has done a modification to do just that because that would be very helpful. I am looking forward to testing this with the Chameleon P loop outside but as you can see in this picture of the P loop we have a little problem locally there is an old saying around here that it will be windy until all the snow on Horsefly melts. And that's Horsefly Mountain right there, and that snow is not melted. It should be in a few weeks, though, and I'll have that comparison coming up. Another thing that's supposed to be coming uh, tomorrow via FedEx is the MFJ loop. And so I'll have that for comparison with the Chameleon loop. They have very different use cases. So, in other words, you would use one for something quite different than you would use the other. So, please use both feet when walking. Click on like. Please subscribe. Check out the tip jar. And until next time, 73.